It's my feel good breakfast show. Whether you're into color on the eyes or the nails, this spring is about having fun and flirting your feminine side. So take note and try something new. Joining us in studio is beauty expert Margot Knapper. Margot, happy spring day. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Happy spring day. Uh, tell us what is the new looks that we need to be focusing on this spring. Spring excites me so much because it means colour is back. I know. Finally. I know. And it's hugely exciting because instead of a pop of colour on your lips, we're now talking eyes. And wow. the spring the spring runways were full of very bright eyes, using everything from like leather yeah. to um, makeup to lipstick on your eyes. What? So really making punchy, beautiful pops of colour on your so eyes. So it's basically what we've been doing when we run out of blush. We yeah. use lipstick on our exactly. cheeks. Exactly. And I just bring it to your eyes too. <laughs> <laughs> awesome stuff. So let's talk trends. So then we've got some rock star statements. Nice. I mean, do you love a bit of glitter? I do. I love a bit of glitter. Mm -hmm. Any excuse. And now let's put some stars <gasps> in there, some um, eyebrow rings, and just go, go for gold, go for glitter, and just really have fun with it. I think this totally lends itself to party season. Wow. I mean, and any excuse to wear a star. The little picture's a bit much, though. Stars all over your face. I think oh. just take it as inspiration. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> awesome. What's the next one? The next one we are looking at is negative space manis. Now oh. we've spoken about these before. Huge on the spring runways and negative space manis basically means you can leave a little bit of your nail blank. Really? So you can really get creative. It's like the complete backlash to um, nail art. Wow. <laughs> and it's your nails have to be in good condition but just play with the fact that leave some space open and show your bare nail. That's quite interesting. It's wow. It's very cool. Gosh. I tell you, trends are definitely going in a whole different direction. What about the next one? Braids. I'm so happy oh. braids are back. So instead of looking spring summer 2013, we can now look spring summer 2015 again yes. with a braid because you know with long hair you need to get your hair off your face. Absolutely. So easy to put in a ponytail, but actually it's so cool to see different types of braids coming yeah. through, really playing with texture. I love it. Trends really do have a way of just recycling themselves and coming back every now and then. Exactly. Hey. Yeah, absolutely. And then the last one, slicked back. So this trend really excites me. Oh. It featured a lot on the runways and it's it's really the easiest train for spring summer. I mean, you know yeah. what it's like. We swim, we have long hair. Just keep a pot of gel. All you're gonna do is comb back your hair yeah. with a hell of a lot of gel. What? There's no need to go via via the bathroom going, you know, on your way out. Yeah. It's really, it's so cool. It's so maintenance free. It literally takes five seconds. So the wet look is back again. It just put a little bit of volume into the front, yeah, and then comb back. And I think, I think it's a winner. Wow, spring beauty trends are blowing my mind. Margot, thank you so much for being with us today. Cool. <laughs> awesome, Ewan, over to you.